not have the consumers. Thank you very much, sir. Mananya Sadarshi, Dr. M.P. Abdu Samad Samdhani. Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity to take part in this discussion. Sir, uh, considering the constraint of time, I would like to briefly draw the attention of the Honorable Minister and the government to certain burning issues related with uh, civil aviation and especially our expatriate passengers from Kerala. I, I understand that the Honorable Minister will be definitely aware of the drastic results, very serious effects caused by the frequent uh, strikes in the in certain uh, uh, strikes of the pilots in the uh, airlines and uh, resulting in the cancellation of flights. I would like to request the Honorable Minister to the make chair. to have a to Through have chair, a, to have a serious look into this matter, sir. What will be the fate of these passengers if the flights are cancelled at the last minute, causing much disruption in the system and also, sir, much hardships and sufferings for the passengers? It was often repeated. Frequently, it happened in the recent days, sir. Through you, I would like to request the Honourable Minister to find an everlasting solution for this catastrophe. What, uh, in the last uh, recent uh, months, many such flights were cancelled, causing much sufferings for the passengers, expatriates from Kerala. Sometimes the pa passport validity will be over if the flights are cancelled at the last moment. Many lost their jobs. Because, sir, they will be, most of these expatriates will be returning. Their return flight, return journey will be at the last uh, hour of their uh, vacation. Uh, I was spending those vacation days in, the, in our motherland, in our country. Then when they return, they find that when these flights are cancelled, they are in a uh, very difficult condition in which they will be sometimes losing their job. Sir, in a recent incident, very unfortunate event, a 40-year-old native of Kerala died in Muscat, and his wife was not able to be by his side in his final hours as her flight was cancelled in the last moment. And she was unable to secure a ticket, flight ticket, in the following two days. Sir, what will be the hardships? What will be the fate of that lady? And very unfortunate thing, I would like to draw the attention of the Honourable Minister, the family of these ministers, the family of these deceased, they approached the airlines for compensation. Compensation. The airlines refused. I would like to uh, request the government, there must be a humanitarian approach, passenger-friendly approach, consumer-friendly approach with regard to civil aviation. No accountability. No humanitarian approach, no pass passenger-friendly attitude, and passengers are put to trouble. No compensation. Yes. It is against any kind of international law, international principles, denying their compensation. And, uh, sir, when we come to this, uh, uh, again, when the, to the problems faced by our expatriates from Kerala, they, we, they, they face uh, very great difficulties in transporting the bodies of the diseased from foreign countries to our motherland and also with regard to efficiency of export processes that has to be revised especially from kerala exports it is badly affected uh, uh, honorable minister there must be a system a device evolved for improving the storage the cargo facilities and logistical issues are to be addressed and with regard to expatriates from Kerala, their contribution to the public's exchequer is very valuable. Sir, it is very, very, very important, very precious. But still, their problems remain unresolved in spite of repeated appeals from members of parliament and from the people, from the expatriates, their organizations working abroad. Sir, there, see, large number of expatriates are employed as laborers in middle and low income groups, but the excessive uh, high 
airfare. It is unaffordable for the expatriates. So there must be an urgent government intervention. I don't know why the government is not intervening in this matter. The, uh, the field is left to airlines. They are freely doing, sir, everywhere in, 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 the, in, the, in the entire world, there is a general principle. When there is more demand, the rate has to be reduced. When there is demand during the vacation days, festival days, when, uh, but these airlines are uh, increasing, enhancing the fare that Please has conclude, sir. to Please be checked, conclude. sir. Just two minutes, I'm concluding. One minute. Sir, sir. sir we want more, more seats and additional flights in, uh, with regard to Kerala. And uh, bilateral discussions are to be held. Agreements have to be made, especially with uh, GCC countries. And uh, recently at Mumbai airport, there was an incident of two air aircrafts coming in the same runway. Same runway, which is very surprising and very, very serious event. And it has raised serious questions of safety concerns. I would like to uh, congratulate the minister, finally, for this uh, bringing RTR examination under the DGCA. That is a good move. We support it. But and I hope, I request for the aspiring pilots, there should be more scientific and more uh, undefective methods have to be adopted. And these examiners have to be trained. They are not as much trained uh, as we see in today's scenario. And I would like to uh, yeah. request the Honorable Minister to consider this situation. And also, once again, I draw the attention of the Minister to the fate of the expatriate passengers. Thank and you, sir. the suffering Mr. caused Mr. by the last like to minute point, cancellation sir. of flights Mr. and Mr. the Premchandran. high fare rate. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, please, only one minute.